How's it going everybody? I'm Levi with JLG Reptiles. As you can see over here, we have some rats thawing out, and that can only mean one thing. We're going to feed this collection of ball pythons. So if you enjoy content like this, please consider subscribing. If you're already subscribed, then welcome back. All right, so here we have our food for the night. Um, I'm going to give this bigger guy here to the leopard lavender albino and then for our new inchy pastel clown he's a little bigger than her so i'm going to see if he will eat these two um i'm just going to give it a shot with him maybe i mean i'll be happy if he eats just one you know this would be his first meal here but i just definitely want him to get to get off to a good start with us so that's what we're going to try with him but uh but yes we'll get get this one and offer it to the the leopard lavender albino all right so here she is Let's see how she's acting she's acting hungry for sure all right you just sit tight get our tongs She's such a good eater. She does really good for sure. All right, so I'm actually gonna save the the new one for last, the pastel inchy clown. Uh, so next up will be our VPI xanthic, and she'll get a medium wrap. Okay, so here is the VPI xanthic meal. Said a medium rat. Um, I just like to take their head and kind of do like this. Then I'll just put their their face up to the light to really heat the head up. And I'm actually blocking the body with my hand so the body's not getting heated up. You know that way the the main heat source is coming from the head. So whenever they strike, that's what they'll that's what they'll be aiming for. That's the the plan anyway. Um, doesn't always work out like that but that's what I try to do to help them out so we'll go ahead and open her tub hopefully not get bit okay really the desert ghost is the one you have to really worry about getting lit up by you guys will see what I'm talking about here in a little bit probably she is pretty vicious to say the least oh yeah she's she's getting fired up over there so we'll just go ahead and get this. And she did not eat last week for us, so. Seems like she wants to. I'm having a hard time with these with my bigger girls not wanting to eat and I guess that's just kind of part of it but I'm just not really good at seeing it happen I don't really know what this tactic is but it seems to be getting her interested
try heating this rat up one more time. So I'm just gonna, let's see here. I'm just gonna really put this thing under the heat. She acts like she's hungry and I mean, she's definitely interested. It's not like she's running from it, that's for sure. Okay. Let's try that. And that right there got that rat up to 97 at its hottest. Let's heat it up a little bit more. Let's give her a good target. She's just waiting patiently. Okay. All right, girl, come on. Kind of seemed to do it for her, holding it up over her head. Okay. Well, uh, I'd like to. I'd love to see her eat. We'll try one more time. One more time. And if she doesn't take it this time, I'm just gonna leave it laying in there. We'll get it out in the morning. Um, just really heat its head up this time. Maybe this will work. So I'd love to see her. So you latch on to this and she didn't eat last week, but it's, I think it's got something to do with this weather, just being in the dead of winter. I don't know if it's like messing with them, but it doesn't, it doesn't seem to affect our younger snakes the weather but the bigger girls definitely seem to have an issue with it okay well we'll just let you hang out then uh, so next is the the ultra male um, and again she didn't eat last week either so it'd be fantastic to see her eat um, she also is getting a, a medium Hopefully, anyway. Heat this one up real nice. Okay, let's see how she does. Hopefully better than the, the Exanthic. She seems interested. Sure. Which is always nice. So I'm saying I don't I don't really get it with the bigger girls. I'm not sure what's 
what's going on, but usually they're pounding food. And she still might. Scared her, I think, with it. I think she's going to take it. Nope. Well, I'll just leave that one laying too. Okay. Um, so next is our desert ghost and if you enjoy seeing snakes strike at people then this is the one to watch whenever it's on feeding day she's okay every other day but as soon as those rats start thawing out in this room and I actually have other rats in this room she's fine with but whenever rats are thawed out in this room she gets pretty feisty, to say the least. So, uh, let's see here. And she will eat. She hasn't missed a meal yet for me. Um, so that's always nice. Having a sure thing feed her. But, I mean, I don't know how she'll be whenever she gets their size. But for now, she's still growing. She's... Destroying food, for sure. Okay, so... I'm going to try to set this up. I'm actually going to move these rats over here with her so I can actually get them without putting my face too close to her. Um, so we'll put them right here. Oh gosh, I dread this every time. Yep, there she is. Watch her. She's ready. Well, we didn't get... Sh there she went. I'm telling you, man. This girl is intense. She don't play, that's for sure. I'm trying to kind of keep an eye on her. actually kind of has the edge of her tub somehow. What in the world has she done here? She's got her tub latched. Please don't come off that rat and bite me. My goodness. Uh, I don't want to do this. Gosh, she's got a grip. Okay. There you go. My goodness. Okay. Well, there's the desert ghost. Very good eater. You never have to worry about hair eating. Okay. So he is next. We don't even have a name for him. Nameplate done. But this is the Inchy Pastel Clown Male. And he is super, super awesome. Um, so let's get these little rats back over here. Like I said, we might end up probably giving him two. Um, he's got some size on him, so I'm sure he would be okay with it. So I picked two small ones for him, um, out of the bag. I just gave the albino just the bigger one. Um, all right, let's see how he does for his first feeding here.
let's see here. Expecting it, not gonna lie. Come on, buddy. We'll try heating this rat up one more time for him. You can see how much thicker he is than this rat too. That's why I'm trying to get him going on too. Yeah, he's going to strike. See his head flinching. <laughs> Okay, well we'll heat it up again. That's that's aggravating. I know he wants it. Just not having very accurate shots. I feel like we're just messing with him now, pissing him off. Come on, buddy. You hear our actual live rats up there rustling around. They're crazy. I'm just going to leave it really still for him for a second. Try to anyway. Let him get a good shot at it if he wants to. Guess not. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna leave it laying right there for him. He can do what he wants with it. 
Man, is he not a beautiful snake. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. So, probably not the most successful fall python feeding video ever, but, um, you know, the albino and the desert ghost definitely ate. They're just on top of it for sure every week, no matter what. Um, the new guy here, the little, uh, Inchi Pastel Clown. It's going to take a while to get used to saying that. Um, he, he wanted to eat. I think it's just kind of... He's, he's probably honestly used to bigger meals. You know, I should have had a bigger item for him to be striking at. Um, hopefully, when these rats I have start producing, you know, we'll get him some food quick. But I've got a few more rats in the freezer from perfect prey that are you know a little bit bigger they still have some fuzz on them so I think I'll just offer him one of those next week instead of two smaller smaller ones um, that's probably be the, the route we'll go it still won't be big enough the meal he needs but um, it should work a lot better and as far as the Xanthic and ultra male if you guys have any idea what's going on please let me know um, I think this is week three for the Xanthic not eating, and week two for the Ultra Male. I think I'm right. I could have that backwards, but um, either way, it's a good bit of time without them eating. They both just broke a thousand grams. Um, I think the Xanthic is like a thousand and seventy, and the Ultra Male is like a thousand and fifteen or something. She's lower, but you know that might have something to do with it and also it's cold outside you know we've been getting winter storms and and all that i'm not sure i don't, i guess everything together could uh could be affecting it you know but hopefully these girls will get back on food soon but because hopefully hopefully next season they'll be ready to breed and this will be their boyfriend if i can Get some weight on him hopefully get him up to about 500 grams and they should be around 1500 like i said if they'll start eating so please let me know in the comments what you think's going on so i can try to correct the issue but i i just think it's weather and their size i mean thousand gram wall you know you hear all about it but i think i think they're actually both going through it at the same time but guys if you enjoyed it please subscribe and i will see you next time